And you guys, we have a situation. Oh no. It is a situation. Yeah. I guess Greg needs our advice on something. He, he oh, all boy. he would tell me it's a domestic situation. Yeah. Oh, boy. Wow. We got, need... we got a call on a domestic. Right. Okay. So I got my own Ask the Woody show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's, I don't know if there's a, an actual answer to my question, but I think I'm in a domestic quote situation. Okay. So he's for... not even sure. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not sure because have you, you ever thought that. Your partner is upset, and then you ask him what's wrong. Mm, nothing, nothing. And, and they seem upset. Mm -hmm. So Mario, in addition to doing real estate, does he's a designer, and he has redone our bedroom, our what we call the powder room, bathroom, uh, the dining room. They look incredible. He's insanely talented. Then the other day, out of the blue, he sends me a text and says, "Hey, I'm coming home with something. I hope you like it." Okay. And I said, "Oh, well, I hope we have a place for it because." Our house is furnished. I don't know what you could be bringing home. Uh, we've only been there for three years, so we did buy a few new items for the house three years ago, which in my opinion, that's not old. No. It's, no. Not, it's not old yeah. by any stretch of the imagination. So he came home with these two bar stools to replace the bar stools that are only three years old. Okay. They are some designer that I've never heard of. Mm -hmm. And I thought, oh, should I be honest? This is all going in my head. I don't want them didn't ask for them we don't need them and yet he already bought them and brought them home ah. so i said to him i he put he put one in to compare the two and i said i really like the old ones better and i felt so guilty telling him that because these are Why? apparently really nice bar stools because i don't i hate confrontation i hate well he should have you asked know. you he should have like taken a picture of them sent them to you like hey what do you think of these right like he took the chance he took the risk true and so just go ahead and grabbing them bringing them back yeah and we were comparing and contrasting i said i i'm kind of surprised you like these they're hideous they're, 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 they're not hideous <laughs> yeah, these but are the worst <laughs> things i've ever seen <laughs> yeah they look like garbage but the ones we have are completely fine i like them oh and then the new ones too the back of them is way lower Ew, and yeah. I like to do all my writing for the show at the bar, and I sit there and, and I can kind of lean back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This the backrest is too low, and I said I can't lean back comfortably. And, and I said I, I'm just going to be honest, I I don't like them. Mm -hmm. Okay, well I guess I'll take them back. And I said no, I'm sorry, no, you know. And then I changed no. my tone. Oh, <laughs> there we go. I said okay, we can he keep knows. them. We can we can. Get rid of the ones we have. He knows have. how to play you, dude. We can keep mm -hmm. them. No, you don't like them. I don't want us to have something you don't like. And I said, well, I don't want you to have uh, got something go. that you don't want to keep. No, it's okay. This could be the endless I'll get rid of them. cycle. Mm -hmm. And it was. Like, of just yeah. like, I and don't want to you know what? I don't want to say you. I don't want to say you. Like, just do it. He said, all right, I'll bring it back to me. Right. All right, I'm sorry. I, I really, you know. And then I thought about but I, it. But I wanted to be honest with you because, you know, honesty is important in a relationship. Yeah. And then the next uh, can day. Can you take them back right now? They're still <laughs> sitting in the garage. And I said, you know what? If, if, if it's important to you, we can keep them. It's just bar stools. No, you don't like them. And I said, I Great, then why are they still here? Right, but then it just seemed like the whole mood kind of changed for, yeah. for several days. He'll get, oh, dude, wow. he'll get over it. I hope so. Yeah. Bar Again, stool mood. He... Yeah, you got to do what I do and say, This looks terrible. And then <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't just make say a that. return it. Yeah, he took the risk. Yeah. Uh, just bringing them home without running it by you first. Right. On something like that. Well, when he was, because he designed your other rooms, did you have input on that or did he just do it all himself without he asking would, you? He would show me in advance because he okay. puts together the whole plan and the, right. you know, like mm -hmm. samples of the textures and fabrics and stuff that he's going to use and then shows me a fo like a rendering of what it's going to look like and it looks awesome and I loved it. But, uh, oh, and some of it, the ideas were mine. So that was cool in that right. regard um but this barstool thing i don't know i'm just not a big fan of something that's <laughs> only three years old and already replacing it you know wait is that the bigger point then well no they're, i they're, they're, i just and because the they're not the and old. functionality of the old ones yeah, yeah. You know, it was yeah the look and the functionality and the feel of the old ones they're perfectly fine yeah okay. i mean look I, he's uh obviously had a lot uh of input on everything else yeah that you guys have done these bar stools should not be that big of a deal. <laughs> if he wants to be like days upset about it, that seems to be but, his problem, not the, yours. That's the thing. Like, and, and the reason I bring it up is because I think this fits into any context when somebody tells you they're not upset, but you can kind of tell, right. yeah. I think this is bothering you. Yeah. You know, I, it, I don't know how to diffuse that. But there's nothing to diffuse. Tension. Yeah. They took a shot, mm -hmm. they missed. 
Right. Didn't work and out. so they, they got to figure out like how to deal with that uh, disappointment. It's not on you to figure out how to smooth it over with him. He's the one who brought these things home without even running it by you or saying, hey, I'm out at this place. What do you think of these? And you right. said, yeah, just oh, a quick I don't like photo. how the back's so low. <laughs> right. Uh, that's at, tr- you, know, you know, I completely agree. And then he wouldn't even brought them back. It should have been in the reverse order. Like, yeah. what do you think of these? Should I yeah. get them? Yeah. But uh, you know me. I'm just going through over and over in my head. Like, yeah. well, is it really a big deal if it's just barnstools? I can live with it. Does well, this, Greg, I don't there was a whole thing back. I saw. There was like a whole thing about this therapist talking about things that people secretly detest about their partners. Oh. <clears throat> and unheard feelings was on the list. Oh. So you at least made your feelings heard. I yeah. did. Because I, they say. I, 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 that was a big step for me. It says. <laughs> and yeah. I, I, see, you guys wonder why I hold on to stuff. This is why. Because I knew I had something that would speak to the situation. Okay. Says no one likes to feel like they're not being heard or that their feelings are being dismissed outright. So make sure you're listening and taking turns to speak, which it sounds like you guys really did. You got the communication part going on. Yeah. Well, the okay. old Greg would have accepted these new stools. Yeah. Said nothing. And tried to write with the low back and right. been uncomfortable. And maybe fallen off. And possibly fallen <laughs> off. <laughs> what if Mario said, oh, wait, you have it upside down. Uh, right. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, okay. It'd be more comfortable this way. <laughs> okay. It's seating for four. I, mm. I don't know if this happens to you, yeah, but, I, um, you know, whenever we get new furniture, I think to myself, I'm like, we've toured plenty of houses and furniture stores, and I go... And we know what looks good. And I go, you thought that looked good? <laughs> I go, this is not good. Yeah. You know, <laughs> we're like, I think we're on our fourth bar stool, Greg. Really? Yeah, we finally settled on one. Or if you see something either yeah. in a TV show, like I'll see something yeah. like on HGTV, and then I'll see something in that I'll see mm-hmm. that same thing in real life, but in real life, and I'll go, huh? Yeah, looked way better, looked on, better TV. on camera, or looked way yeah. better when I saw it, like in a picture or something right. like that the one thing but, we go through like socks is rugs like yeah get uh, bored of them or they get too. dirty that's and, another thing that greg talks about how expensive um fake plants are <laughs> yeah patio furniture right dude rugs oh, rugs I, are crazy expensive well it depends where you get them i yeah. go to home goods yeah you can go to lowe's and get a nice yeah home looking, goods Home awesome goods, right? Hello, yeah. Ask Gravy's nephew about that. <laughs> yeah. so like, he was on the management track and then Lucky. he went to college. Like an yeah. idiot. Uh, but I'll tell you this though. That's the like one of our main arguments is always furniture. Like really? we can never agree on what furniture to get. And I'm finally at a point where I go, I don't care. I just don't want an empty house. <laughs> right. I go, just get whatever. Just fill the house with furniture because I don't want to be I don't want to be like three years later and we're still deciding on like what end tables to get. Oh yeah, like you know, like, I'm right. taking to get a I, table finally. Remember I you know had that, that yeah. place you had no table, no dining table. Yeah, for because nothing. go back and forth, and I'm like, dude, and not like a formal dining table. We're talking yeah. about like any just table just at a all. Functional yeah. table. This is yeah. table because can't agree on one. Yeah, we're, and we're polar opposites when it comes to picking stuff out. If let's say we need a lamp. I look yeah. at like three lamps and go, yep, I like that one. Let's yep. get it. Yeah. No, we got to look at 18 stores <laughs> and 400,000 lamps. Tech <laughs> yeah. says, uh, Greg is experiencing what every straight guy goes through with a woman every single freaking day. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah. But I, I don't know. Mm-hmm. It's just like, are you okay? No, I'm fine. It's fine. It's good. No, we can keep it. No, it's fine. You don't now, when it comes and to I wedding think, oh, planning, crap. you know, because I didn't care about that at all. Really? Yeah, you I had, I had two over, things right? that I really, well, three things. I had three things. Other than that, she could have done Anything she wanted. I remember one of your three. I did not want to be told what the tuxedo style or look had to be like. Let me decide that. You wanted a DJ. I wanted a DJ, no band, because bands at weddings suck. So lame. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then uh, number three was I wanted real icing on the cake, not that like kind of whipped fondant. cream. Oh. No, not fondant. Oh, like, like that buttercream or whatever? I wanted real icing where you can feel the granules of sugar in the <laughs> icing yeah. as you're eating it. Like it kind of crunches a little bit. I want to like, feel the granules. Yeah, but you know you can get like a, you know, you can get like a cheap like uh, grocery store cake it's or whatever. Kinda it's kind of like, like whipped creamy. Like, uh-huh. Yeah, like it's, it's, like, it's not like real icing. It's like that real kind of light. <laughs> and, uh, the, other than that, I said, I don't care. Like centerpieces. Any of this other stuff that yeah, you want to do, okay. what the invitations look like. Because, you know, women, they uh, they dream about that day, like, from when they were, like, For a little sure. girl. They have this whole idea. I have not spent one minute thinking about it other than I don't want a band. And I didn't want, you know, crappy icing on the cake. Right. You want granules. I want granules. <laughs> I, want, I, I want straight sugar. It needs granules. Yeah. You know that kind I'm talking about, though, right, I totally Greg? do. I don't know what that is. I totally do. Yeah, real there's, icing. There's almost like a grit to it. Yes. And it, yeah. 
<laughs> yes, in a exactly good way. Right. I want grit. Yeah. I want good grit. So like, if you don't care, <laughs> mm. if, if overall, I would say just in general, if overall you don't care, just give your two cents on the things that are really super important to you, and then you know the mm. rest, yeah. then they can do whatever. That's true. But if he knows that you're particular or whatever about certain things, or just like before we bring anything, let's make this a group decision. Right. Before we put you on the spot with, you know, just bringing something home, it's like when someone brings a pet home. Mm, uh, yeah. Like, you know. You like a surprise pet? Uh-huh. You yeah. shouldn't bring a surprise pet home. Because they're they're doing that just because they, they know the other person doesn't necessarily want that. Mm-hmm. But they figure, well, if it's here and they see it, they'll go, oh. That's a baby. Yeah. Oh well, I guess we. Okay. Oh, I have hmm. friends who. So maybe he did that. Maybe he brought the like. Oh, great. Now look that at they're these, here, look at these stools. Maybe. Yeah, I have a oh. friend who never, ever, ever wanted a dog. She was very verbal about that. And then for Christmas, her husband gave her a dog as a gift. Mm. She resented that dog forever. Yeah. That you should not give pets as a gift. Mm. I agree. Without like as a surprise, or unless it's for your never kid. buy yeah. noisy toys mm. for somebody else's kid. Oh, Any man. toy that makes noise whatsoever, you don't buy that for someone else's kid. No. Right. I'll be sending that right back to your house. Eight seven seven forty four Woody. Hit us up with a text over to two two nine eight seven. Yeah, make sure he gets those stools out of there immediately. <laughs> okay, I'll put you, my foot you stop down. Stop seeing them. Yeah, because yeah, as long as it's there, it's going to be yeah. like a reminder to him or yeah. to you or whatever. Like you got to move on from that situation. I like do. it's easy. Bring that crap back wherever you got it. Yeah. And then uh, next time, just send me a picture if you're somewhere. Yeah, just right. throw them in the we'll dumpster. There. All right. <laughs> Good luck, Greg. Thank you. Uh, well, Greg had a domestic situation. Bar stools that his partner Mario brought home. Without and needing or asking yeah, for. Greg didn't like. Not the fact that he brought something home without running it by him first. He just yeah. didn't. Aesthetically, yeah, they were fine. not pleasing exactly. to Greg. And he didn't really feel like they needed new bar stools because they just had gotten some, what, a few years ago? Yeah. yeah. A few years ago. And so... Uh, this person on the text says, hey, Greg, uh-huh. maybe Mario is exaggerating how upset he is over the bar stool. So the next time he brings something that he really wants, you won't say a word, <laughs> even if it's not to your liking. <laughs> wow. It's a, good, oh, it's a long play. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't yeah. think so. That's some 3D chess right there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mario hasn't gotten rid of them. They're still in his garage, by the way. Yes, they are. Uh, Mario hasn't gotten rid of them because he's hoping you'll eventually cave in. Which I probably will. Which? Is and you should on trend for that, Greg. That's true. Yeah, that's you shouldn't. I you, you you honestly do not like them, correct? I honestly do not. Okay, and the only reason, and you're the one who really uses them for the most part. And the only reason that you would keep them would just be to quote keep the peace. That is not a way to live. Yeah. Uh, is this really about the bar stools though? Underneath, uh, might your partner feel down as a result of not understanding your taste as well as he thought? That's from uh, Jamie. No, because we have. I would say 99% of our taste is identical. Then yeah. why the misfire on this one? <laughs> um, this one says, I'm not a therapist, but it does seem like Mario bought the stools as a form of stress relief and was looking forward to a positive reaction from Greg. Oh. He might have taken it more personal uh, because home designing is important to him, but feels like there's nothing left to do for oh. your house. Does Mario do retail therapy? Uh for the most part, no. There's always okay. stuff to do with a house. Your that, house can be true. completely done, that's and you true. will always find something. Trust me. 100% You will true. always find something that will be the next thing. And I have majorly misfired getting stuff for him. One time he told me, oh, I'm totally into these big gold-colored watches. And yeah. I went out for one Christmas and got him the biggest gold watch I could find. And he looked at it, and he's like, oh, this is not what I meant. And ah. I, I didn't. I was like, okay, I'll return it. Took it back. What about that time that uh, you bought him that bikini of the month calendar? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that didn't he go didn't, over he well. He didn't seem yeah. to really like that that much. No. Long.